as far as lifting is concerned, I remember back in high school, I was in terrible, terrible shape uh, starting out. I was last pick on every sports team, the last person to run laps. And, you know, I just wanted to change that one summer. Um, probably went through one of the most dramatic transformations I can imagine. Dropped 70 pounds over the course of four months. It was just a revolution. Uh, my brother was going through big changes in his life and my sister before that. And I kind of wanted to be uh, on the same page as them and just let it carry me. I love the challenge of everything. It's just, it's this little mini puzzle. I'm, I'm a nerd by nature and I love piecing together everything. And there's no greater puzzle than trying to figure out how to keep your body to keep going. I mean, people think it's a meathead sport, but I probably spend two hours on a laptop programming things out for every one hour I end up spending in the gym. Uh, there's a lot you can control. I mean, just from volume to intensity to fatigue management to frequency. And every little piece has its place. And figuring all that together, it just excites me. There's nothing more personal about a puzzle than when it's yourself. Um, I've been lifting since I guess I was a junior in high school, but I'd say I've been lifting seriously more for about three years and it's just taken me all over. I've been to contests in Delaware, to Huntington Beach, been able to see both oceans because of it. And it's just, it's something I hope I keep doing for the rest of my life. I like making use of it in every way I can. I mean, from trying to push it forward, uh, I tried starting to uh, do UP strength and coaching other athletes, which is very rewarding to me. I try using it to promote nonprofits whenever I get the chance, uh, notably in Molly's Fund or whatever else I can get my hands on. I like uh, actually doing a little bit of nail polish for every contest, a little something, paint my nails, and it's a conversation starter. In the post uh, contest interviews, if I win, people always love asking me, why are my nails painted? And I guess if these colors represent this nonprofit and direct them traffic to that website. And it's something that I can make use externally for. I mean, I do this first and foremost for myself because it feels good. But to be able to help others with it just turns it from something that's only about me to something that I can make about others. You just got to start somewhere. You might not have every answer. You might not know where you're going. But uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to get started. I mean, I started off with an infomercial package and now I have a Federation world record. Now I have my ticket to nationals and um, it just all needs to begin somewhere. And no step is too small to start that. I mean, it's taught me humility. It taught me that nothing great comes without sacrifice. And it taught me that, you know, good things take time. And you need to be able to consistently push through everything that's in your path to get to where you're going. Um, there's risks with everything and you're not sure that you're going to make it. But something keeps telling you that you got to keep going. And it's taught me to be passionate about what I do and not be backseat. Because you can't look at a bar that's three times your weight. Tell yourself you're going to lift it unless you're convicted and you believe what you're saying to yourself.